Hi, I'm Julie from Indigo Handmade Design. Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this beaded bag. The materials we are going to need are yarn. I'm going to use this yarn into colorway it's a acrylic medium yarn then I'm going to use this yarn here it's fingering yarn a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook fabric to line my bag sewing needle and sewing thread yarn needle we are also going to use a big eye needle to put on our beads so it has this big eye then we are also going to need some beads I'm I've used um, this 6-0 beads from Toho We are also going to need a pair of scissors and a magnetic closure so if you have one you can also use a button and we are going to need some back handles so actually you can use what you have at home I'm going to use this one here you can also make your uh, your own uh, shoulder strap okay so now let's start Okay, so now make a slip knot and chain four. And now go back in your very first chain and close with a slip knot. Chain two, this counts as a half double crochet. And now in this loop that we've created we are going to make nine half double crochet now close with a slip stitch in your second chain 
then chain two it counts as a half double crochet and now we are going to work in the back loop only so in the same stitch make another half double crochet we are going to increase and in the next stitch make two half double crochet again in the back loop only and in the next stitch another two half double crochet and this is how we are going to work till the end our row now close in your second chain with a slip stitch chain 2 again it counts as a half double crochet and in the same stitch make one half double crochet and in the next stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch we are going to increase so make two half double crochet in there in the next stitch one half double crochet and this is how we are going to work till the end of our round so in one stitch increase and one stitch only with one half double crochet now close with a slip stitch chain 2 and now make one half double crochet in the next stitch so we have here two stitches and then in the next stitch we are going to increase so two half double crochet in the same stitch and two half double crochet in the next two stitches so only increasing and now make again uh, one increase and this is how we are going to work till the end of our round so so two half double crochet one increase till the end of the round and then close again with a slip stitch in the second chain okay so I'm going to make my panel of camera so in the next row or round you have to increase each three stitches so make one increase then three half double crochet and then one increase and two half uh, three half double crochet and then in the next round you have to uh, work four stitches and then one increase and work like this till you have 14 rounds in total so you have to make two panels of course so my bag measure 13 centimeters and now I'm going to take my other color to make my flower and my 4.5 millimeter hook and we are going to start 
here in the middle and work in these front loops okay so for this we are going to attach our yarn in this front loop here just like this and then chain one and in the same stitch make one single crochet so this is our first stitch one single crochet in the next stitch we are going to make two half double crochet in the next stitch Three double crochet in the same stitch and then in the next stitch make two half double crochet and in the next stitch one single crochet Okay, so this is our pattern repeat. Let's in the next stitch one single crochet and in the next two half double crochet and in the next stitch three double crochet. And in the next stitch, two half double crochet, and in the next one single crochet. Okay, so now we are going to skip one row or one round. So now skip this round here and go right to the next round with a slip stitch just like this so slip stitch and chain one and in the same stitch make one single crochet and in the next stitch two half double crochet and in the next stitch three double crochet and in the next two half double crochet and then one single crochet so work like this till you have three rounds left and I'll meet you back for the next step
Okay, so now I'm at the end of my row and in the next stitch we are going to make one slip stitch, chain one, turn your work and make one single crochet in the single crochet from your previous row and in the next stitch make one half double crochet and in the next one double crochet and in the next stitch another double crochet and in the next stitch we are going to make one treble crochet so yarn over twice and in the next stitch one double crochet and in the next one double crochet and in the next one half double crochet and in the next stitch one single crochet so this is our pattern repeat we are not increasing anymore so we are going to work one stitch in each stitch across till the end of the row. So again, one single crochet, one half double crochet, two double crochet, one treble crochet, two double crochet, one half double crochet and one single crochet. So this is how we are going to work till the end of our row and I'll meet you back when I'm done. Okay, so when you reach this slip stitch for your previous row, you just have to work over this slip stitch. So don't pay attention to that, okay? So here is my panel and now we are going to attach some beads and for this we are going to use our big eye needle and this fingering thread, so yarn, fingering yarn, so thread your needle. I'm going to put some beads out and now just put your beads on the yarn I'm going to put 
around 350 bits so and I'm sure I'm not going to need to put more beads later on okay so now I'm going to show you how to crochet with beads I've already start crocheting so attach your yarn So we work on the back side of our uh, flower petals because we want our beads to be on front. So and this is how I've made my last row. So um, single crochet, chain one and go in the next stitch, start one single crochet and then Take your bead, just like this, and finish your single crochet, and then chain one, and in the next stitch, one single crochet without bead. And then chain one, and in the next stitch, single crochet with bead. So start your single crochet, take your bead and finish your single crochet and then chain one and in the next stitch one single crochet without bead and chain one and in the next stitch one single crochet with bead and this is how we are going to work till the end of our row. So let's make one single crochet and one chain in between your single crochets and one single crochet with bead and one single crochet without a bead. make two panels in this same way and um, go ahead and line your bag and attach your magnetic closure and your handles and then um, I'm going to show you how to close your two panels your panels like this wrong side facing each other and skip five stitches and in the next stitch attach your yarn and we are going to make a slip stitch taking the both loops from the both panels just like this and slip stitch all the way across till you have five stitches left
so my lovelies now we are done this is my bag thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video and ring the bell and i see you soon in my next tutorial bye bye